Tonight. The race for the 22nd Congressional District will continue a bit longer. New York State Supreme Court Judge Scott Del Conte has issued a stay against certifying this race. Our reporter Karina Gary has been there all day getting the details. She is in the, uh, the newsroom with more. Karina, what can you tell us from today? Yes, well, the final canvas wrapped earlier today as seven of the eight counties met at the Oswego County Courthouse to finish their canvassing. And so far, Tenney remains in the lead. But the big news is that uh, Judge Scott Del Conte granted a temporary stay for Oneida County ballots, which means six of the counties, or rather, sorry, seven counties will certify their results and send it to the New York State um, boards. But Oneida County will have to hold on to their results. He did say that they are um, allowed to tally and count, nothing like that. But temporarily, he does not want them to certify because he is worried that if they do certify and there is a winner, most likely Claudia Tenney, that when the process does go to the appellate court, that she'll already be sworn in. And under the constitutional law that it's a little murky right now, but what we know of right now is that only once you're sworn in, only way to remove a Congress member is by getting the House itself to remove them. And Judge Del Conte is really worried that the appellate court, which is the second process, won't be able to do its job if Oneida County certifies their results. And Karina, a quick question. Just reading off of your Twitter uh, account that you've been keeping us up to date today, you said, quote, if the appellate says Del Conte is wrong, will your candidate resign? That was uh, the Judge Del Conte to Tenney's lawyer. Do you remember their response to that? Yes, no, I, I do. The, he, the lawyer said he wouldn't be sure what she would do, and that's where Del Conte responded with exactly, that's what I'm worried about. He's worried that Tenney won't give up her position and the appellate court won't be able to do its job. And final question, you did say dealing with a temporary stay, he has not yet ruled on an official stay. Do you have any timeline on any new information of that or if and when that decision may come? Yes, he was speaking with the lawyers about when they think they could get their briefings in. And it looks like it's about Thursday will be when he'll hear from both sides why he should or should not grant a full stay. Well, Karina, thank you for keeping.